So right. the first main event, I believe, um, the first time in there with a, and, and now I'm going to use this word loosely, legend. Um, and then we're all excited about it. And, and this guy, and in fact, at the end of the match, when Tony Boos is in there with the glasses, he threw him out of the ring. Like, this guy is just, is just total classless. And I said to my guys afterwards, this is how not to act in wrestling. Don't be like the Samoans. They have such a horrid, horrid reputation. And now they see it fucking uh, firsthand. But yeah. my guys and I, and a lot of the fans say that that match is a thousand times better than that did. Than that that fat fuck was in it. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, now, he, now. Yeah, quite a few listeners here on your, on your thing here, uh, Kevin. What happened? Yeah, quite a few listeners. Uh, apparently. <laughs> If they're messaging you, telling you about other... Oh, hope you guys are eating your popcorn because I told you these guys are going to be entertained tonight. Oh, boy. Um, all right. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. Now, did he... Rikishi went... Did he finally... He went into the ring? He did, he addressed the fans? Did he do anything? He went in the ring. It, 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 it took him it took uh, a him. while. It took, a, it took a while, but he finally got there. that ass. Oh Jesus! Oh God! <laughs> All right, reestablish. He's not a thin man. Okay. okay. Um. Now, how was it? What is it like? All right. I, I'm just trying to figure it out because I, his agent said that he went in the ring and he and he spoke to the fans and he dressed the locker room and he he did it respectfully and that. You know, if the, he's a whole. First of all, hold on a minute, Nasa. He gets in the ring and he goes, "If this is the top heel, this is a guy that's been in the business since the '80s and he's using words like heel and face, you know, insider terms. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody knows what they are, but still, it's just things they just don't say. And then he shits all over Logan Black. I don't know if Logan Black's the top heel in the company or not, but he says, "If this is your top heel, that this company is in trouble." He gives him a stink face. Logan leaves. Then there's the, the, the other two guys, uh, Moose and Booth go, you know, they want to dance, and he throws them out of the ring, he calls them jabronis. It's like, dude, you're just, you're just a jerk-off. You're just a complete jerk-off. He's lucky that fucking 30 guys are going to go out there and kick him in his fucking teeth, because that fat fuck would have been dead in the ring. In fact, when he went to the back, he sat down, he couldn't even breathe into the sneak face. Eh, he's a breath away from having a heart attack. He'll be dead soon. Oh, my God. People are saying they want to hear me more than you, Rich, so keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Take it all go fuck themselves. Well, um, <laughs> all right, before we get to Rich... Oh, come on, hold on. They, they, wanted me to, hold on. they wanted me to write that he buried two, but two, but I, I mentioned he buried two other guys. Right, so he buried a third guy also. I'm sorry. He, he buried three instead of two. Okay. Um, like me personally, no disrespect to to Logan... You know, you know I I love him. He's a, he's awesome. I I think Darius Carter is your number one heel. It doesn't matter who the number one heel is. No, I'm just just it my it's just just my time. opinion. This is the main event match with a guy running down again a legend or a Hall of Famer. So you see how much that Hall of Fame means. But and you even if it was the worst heel in the, the the bottom heel in the company, you just don't say certain sort of things. Right. If that's not a way to put a company over that pays you a thousand dollars. Or whatever we pay, you didn't put our numbers here. Just sit on your ass and do nothing. <sighs> no. Keep, listen, this isn't the first pull-up minute, Kevin. Okay. I've been in business now. This is our 10th year. And we brought in a lot of names, some better than others. I always say it. Guys like Stevie Richards. Guys like uh, uh, Jinder Mahal. Classy, classy guys. And then we had some other guys that do stupid things, but never anything like this. This guy is, you know, uh, I've well, never done well, anything like this. Also, what needs to be known is what Shelton Benjamin did last night. To, to try to at least that's absolutely right, absolutely. Shelton Benjamin, um, we've had him a few times. He he went up to Rich and goes, "Look, he's a, I, I hear what's going on here." He tried to talk to Rakishi. He goes, "I'm injured. I can only do super kicks, but if you want me to go out there and help out, I'll do it." And to me, that you know, that was a, a, a classy, classy guy. Absolutely. And anybody, any promoters listening, Shelton Benjamin. And when he's healed, when he's, you know, when he's at 100%, I would say book him in a heartbeat. We've had him a few times. Um, he's wrestled Rude Boy Riley. He's come in with uh, Charlie Haas, who great taking. Complete professional. I can't say enough about Sean Benjamin. Uh, great guy. And, 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 and uh, made my day what he did. 
And that's not that's classy of him, absolutely. I uh, met him a couple of times. Really, really nice guy. Um, kind of cut last actually the last time I met him, he went out of his way to uh, to introduce himself to me and shake my hand, take pictures mm-hmm. and stuff. So, you know, he didn't have to. I'm, no, I'm nobody special. So, yeah, he's definitely a classy guy. Um, all right, now people were asking. People were asking, is it, was he worse than the Brooklyn Baller? The Brooklyn Baller. At least he honored his booking. The at least, yeah, at least he got in there and wrestled. Yeah, he honored his booking, so I guess he can't. You can't say he was worse. Maybe you know, attitude wise, because you had to sit next to him and deal with him for those many hours. But uh, but at least but he got honestly, in there and he wrestled. All, so I can't knock honest. him on that part. Yeah. In, in, all, in all honesty, though, he had a poorer attitude. Rikishi had a poorer attitude last night than Brawler ever did. I don't look. I I've never dealt with Rikishi personally. You know, agent to wrestler. Um, I've I've only dealt with him through a, another person. You know, just introducing myself and whatever and. I, so I, I don't have that. You guys have a past history, so you have something to base it on to say he was worse this, this time than last time. But I, I just don't understand where. And I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to speak to his agent where he thought that paying him a certain amount of money, sit there, sign autographs, and keep all that money, not wrestle, go home, was a deal that was worth it for you guys. Absolutely wasn't. Originally, they knew what they were doing, Kevin. They're not stupid. Yeah, but it's not a matter of if he if he knew what he's doing or not. His okay, agent wait, wait. has to sit there and understand that there had to be consequences for those actions. Like he okay. has to know the shit's gonna hit the fan. Originally, what do they care? They walked out of there with all that money. I wouldn't have let him walk out originally, of there. Originally, originally, well, all I'm going to do is, is call the police, and uh, I can't. If I knock him out, I go to jail. No, you call the police, and you say, you know what? He stole money. That wasn't what we agreed on. Give it, give me, give us that certain specified money back. Keep your gimmick and get out. Yeah, but yeah. originally, when when I negotiated with my we want this fifty percent of the gimmick. Okay. And he said no. That the amount was too low. We would need to keep our gimmick. But if you wanted to split, it was going to be X amount more. More. Okay. Well, make it makes makes sense. So you settled for the easier deal. You gave him a specific amount of money. Keep your gimmick. You figure he's at least he's climbing in the ring, so the fans get and something it, out of it. And, and then Joe, when Joe and I were discussing this, and this could be said out in the open, I said and to him, we combated with other people because we also had that WWE Hall of Famer Tito Santana last night, mm-hmm. right? and we were thinking the same situation when Jimmy Snuka was there that uh, with Rikishi, that we would just make our money off of Tito Santana, who's never been to Staten Island or Warriors or wrestling before, or to do the, to the signing, and we would feed off of that. And Rikishi, who was there fifty times, how many times did people get his autograph? So we thought at that time it was a low, a low road to take to pay him the less amount fee, and he keeps his gimmick, and and that was it, and that's how the deal was made. Understood. Understood. Um, am I am I wrong, Joe? Did, did I say anything wrong? No. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Before we we get into because I want to change the subject here. Before we get into um, the new the newly forming um, women of warriors division, the women's division. Uh, we want because we want to announce entrant number fifteen of the sixteen woman tournament. Rich, I have to address this with you. Um, can you enough is enough with this nonsense with Sims? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Don't, and I'm going to tell you why. I knew you were going to. He screwed me. 
nearly got me kicked out of big events, and I don't stand for that. You're going to cost me making a huge amount of money with Jake the Snake Roberts, and I don't condone that. And that was probably our biggest, biggest profitable talent when just off autographs alone on a big event. Am I, am I correct on that, Joe? Yes. And Eric almost stopped that from happening. And because we almost, all of us would have gotten thrown out. Okay. Now, this was big event back in November? Correct. Okay. Where he backboard me on Adam Rose and booked him for Bud Store the next day. And I got, there was a deal made, a side deal made between Tommy and Brian because they were going to throw me out and they were going to throw Adam Rose out. So I was going to pay X amount more to keep Adam Rose in because at the time Adam Rose was the, did the right thing by me. So I wanted to do the right thing by him by honoring a booking for him. Mm-hmm. And then come to find out he never showed up anyway. Right. And then he showed up the next day at Pro Wrestling World and with he showed up Eric. the next day and then threw a shot at me online saying, oh, well, my talent shows up for me and not for you. Okay. So. I, I'm just going to throw this out. Then, uh, go ahead. And then to, to top it all off, of, yeah, I made the comment. Stretch for you with RDT. That's so BS. Yes, it's all fun and games, and it's a shot at him. And absolutely. Did I do it just to piss him off? That's a fucking movie. And I'm glad I pinched the nerve. I'm glad I pinched the nerve. Hold, hold, hold on. Cause, Bushy, this is one thing I want to say, Kevin. As far as Eric Sim goes, you know, Eric called me last night uh, to see what was going on. Uh, I don't know if he really cared or not. He just wanted to be a, a nosy person. <laughs> but last night, which he did go out and say, if Sims was here, Rakishi would have wrestled. And now That's right. Now that Sims is blasting Richie all over Facebook, and I don't, I don't know why. I, and he, he keeps saying to me that you know you want to straighten stuff out, you want to sit down and talk to Richie. This isn't the way to do it. No, nope. so you're on, you're on your blast, guy. Well, I'm, it the, 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 reason I'm, I'm the, the reason why I'm the reason why I'm asking Richie. Now. The, the reason why I'm asking Richie, because I, you know, I, somebody needs to stand up and be the bigger man, and let this blow over and walk away from it all, and just that's it. Just let it go and forget the other person exists. I mean, going out. Look, I can forget about the other person existing, but if you're gonna keep throwing shots at me, let him. Keep throwing shots. What? Let him. Anybody who's gonna throw shots at you. Is just looking for attention through social media. If you you blocked him, so you haven't been seeing the comments on his pages. He's getting attacked more than he's getting commended. Good, and he should. So, well, so well, leave it. Let, let it be. Don't don't involve your fi- your, your fiance is involved. She's cursing him out, posting screenshots. Yeah, but you don't let him. You don't need. This is what happens. It's getting ugly now. It's getting personal. You're dragging family. Kevin, hold on, Kevin. 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 Yeah. Is Eric Sims gonna be invited to your wedding? <laughs> no. Is Eric Sims gonna be invited to your wedding? No. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> no. Oh my god, that would be funny. <laughs> on the glass, no, yeah. Model, yeah. yeah. Over Sabrina's dead body, it won't happen. No, he's talking about. Wait, you talking about Richie's wedding or mine? Richie, I don't like when your wedding. You're talking about my wedding. Oh, mine's next year. <laughs> well, well. Oh my god. Anyway, um, yeah. So, but, like, I I posted. Well, on, I think I posted on your page. I said, look, just one of you has to be the bigger man, and just. Let it go. I'm not He's saying not I'm not go. saying let He's bygones be bygones. Go. I'm not saying forgive and forget. I'm just saying let it go, dude. You're stressing yeah. yourself out of stuff that just, you have no control oh, wait over. Wait a minute. Something I got I got to address. Mooch, if you're listening, he you're is. Listening, you're not going to be invited either. There, if you keep this shit up, <laughs> and then he's going to be my date. Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? He's my date. <laughs> Here, I've chopped his fucking balls off. Well, today, Sam, you can have his balls for a date. Eight slices of picture on me. 
Well, he just.